What is going on, everybody? It is Foreign, and welcome back to Fantasy Football Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> That's always the best part of this. Um, so, you guys know how this goes. Basically, I just kind of give my predictions as to what I think is going to happen this week in the NFL Football League. And also, Mr. Tony Stark, he uh, posts a recap, a weekly recap of what had happened throughout the week. Uh, we're both in different fantasy leagues, so he goes over like their scores. I don't really go over my scores, but I'm doing terrible, like usual. Um, so let's just get into this. Um, obviously, we're gonna we're gonna go with the Green Bay game. Green Bay versus Jacksonville. I think Green Bay is gonna absolutely blow them out. Green Bay has been looking like a much stronger team the past two weeks, and I think that um, I think it's time for them to start showing their true colors and. I think we might actually have a few injured players back, so that should be a pretty good game. Also, Jacksonville's a pretty weak team. Uh, most of Jacksonville isn't even a fan of the Jacksonville team, so usually that's a pretty good sign. Um, I, luckily, the game is actually in Green Bay, so it will be televised for anybody that is in Florida because if you live in Florida, you do not get any of the... You don't get Miami... You don't get Tampa, you don't get Jacksonville. Like, it is completely blacked out so that you go to the game. Like, that's why they do it. Uh, unfortunately, they still don't sell out, even with uh, super cheap tickets. Um, let's see, what other games do we have? Um, Philly, Atlanta. Um, Philly has been a okay team this year. Um, they're usually known to be, like, one of the stronger teams. Atlanta also... Um, not the greatest this year, but they've also been known to be a really good team. So I, I definitely think that should be a really good matchup. Um, I think that I think that Matt Ryan is going to come out on top in this game. Um, Atlanta's going to win it. Vic just isn't quite the same. Last year, Vic was a monster until he got injured, and then he was a monster again. Unfortunately, I don't. We haven't seen that explosiveness that is that Mike Vic is capable of. Um, so I definitely think that Atlanta is going to take this game. Uh, this is a this is actually a good one. Uh, New England, St. Louis. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, the NFL has made a deal with the UK. Uh, we play one game over there a year. Uh, it appeals to the UK fans, and this game is an absolute sellout every single year. And it's almost like um, it's almost like the Super Bowl. So some of you guys might know that when the Super Bowl happens, it's not just about, like, going to the game, it's not just about the teams that are in the game. Um, if you see any, like, shots from the Super Bowl, sure, you'll see a lot of home and away team, but you'll also see a lot of the people that live in the city that it's playing in. So this year it's playing in New York, so you'll see a lot of Jets, you'll see a lot of Giants. Um, on top of the actual teams that are in the playoffs, so it's it's similar when you go over to, when they show the UK games because you see them wearing every team under the sun because they're all fans of different teams um, and for the most part they probably do their best to follow those teams in the United States. So this week is the London game, so they're playing in London. I'm not exactly sure what stadium they play at or anything like that, uh, but it's New England, St. Louis. St. Louis is the home team, even though obviously they're both away. Um, so St. Louis is the home team. I think New England's going to absolutely blow them out. I, when, when you hear some of these matchups that have to go over there and play, it's I almost feel bad for them because I feel like it's going to be it'll be a high-scoring game for New England, so that'll be nice for them to watch. But I mean that's not that's not necessarily what the the game of football is. It's not all about you know blowout scores every single game. So when you see a matchup like St. Louis, New England, you kind of feel bad because they're not going to see a good game. They're going to see a blowout, um, which isn't always a bad thing. But if I went to a game, I would prefer to actually see, you know, a good, you know, 35, 30, 30 game, you know, or something like that. Um, so let's see. What other games do we have? Uh, Giants-Dallas. Uh, that's actually a really big rivalry. Um, it's usually a pretty good game to watch, no matter what team you're a fan of. 
uh, or if you're a fan of neither, like I am, I think that the Giants are going to take this one. I think the Giants have actually won the past, like, five games against Dallas, and I don't think that they're going to stop anytime soon. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, there's two videos on the screen that you guys may have seen, may not have seen. Um, like I said, if you guys enjoyed it, let me know. Uh, if you guys are actually following the football season this year, also let me know in the comments below because I barely follow it. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.